Hey guys, so I got a request from Turquoise Banana 12 to do a Hunger Games video. I wasn't sure exactly what that entailed, but I talked to them and decided to do a tag video for Hunger Games. So let's get started. So I'm going to warn you now, if you have not read all three books, do not watch this video because some people can make tag videos without spoilers. Not me. Can't do that. So, if you haven't read all three books, please don't watch this. So, the questions I'm going to be using come from, I think, a general Hunger Games tag. And also, a few of them are from Joey... I can't think of his name. He's a big YouTuber. He did the Hunger Games tag with Alex Carpenter. And so I decided to use their questions because they're good questions. So the first question is, what is your favorite book in the Hunger Games trilogy? That's a really hard question. Um, I'm going to have to say it'd be a really close call between one and two. Because one was, I mean, <sighs> I used the word original. Um carefully because <laughs> if because if you've seen battle royale you know that it's anyway um but i love i love catching fire so much because i'm a huge pita girl obviously and i love how you get so much more interaction between him and katniss happy interaction um i love that you get to meet new characters, you get to meet Finnick. I love Finnick. And you get to meet him and so I would definitely have to say that Catching Fire is my favorite of the series. So the second question is how long would you last in the Hunger Games? Everyone wants to say they would last a long time but I mean if you think about it realistically I mean the careers who've been training are gonna have strategic points and strategic moves right off the bat at the cornucopia so I don't know I mean I would definitely try and get to a sword as fast as possible because for melee objects it has the longest reach and I think you could do real damage with it obviously Kato did so I don't know I think I would last I just don't I don't know how long question three is what is the strangest thing you thought was going to happen in the books okay so I had nothing to go on when I started the book the first book the Hunger Games I had not one thing to go off of I didn't look at the back of catching fire or anything I just picked up the first book and started reading and uh, we'll touch back more on it on a later question, but um, reading the book, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't understand what's going to happen here. I had two theories. Either, obviously, Katniss was going to be the only survivor, and that bummed the crap out of me because I thought that meant Josh Hutcherson's character was going to get killed off, um, or that they would turn it in a different way than they turned it in the book. I thought maybe all the kids were going to band together and revolt and start a revolution and break out somehow the arena or something. Because I knew there were three books and I knew it was going to turn into something bigger than just the Hunger Games arena. So I thought maybe that more kids were going to band together and completely turn the games over. Then all the kids started dying and I quickly realized that was not going to happen. <laughs> Question 4 is, how were you introduced to the Hunger Games? Josh Hutcherson. Hutcherson. Um, I am so involved in all the books I already have to read, I was not looking for more books to read. So I, it's not like I go looking for, oh, what's the new hot book right now? And I hate trends and stuff like that. So I didn't even know what the Hunger Games was. I 
until I got on IMDB, which is one of my favorite websites. I was like, okay, well, you know, I need to check in with Josh Hutcherson. I've been a big fan of him ever since Bridge to Terabithia. And then going back to his earlier movies, and I just love that kid. And um, so on his IMDb profile, it said Hunger Games. So I clicked on it. I read a little bit up on it. I saw the trailer. I was like, okay. Okay. Maybe we should check it out. So that's why I was so incredibly bummed, because I thought PETA was going to die. <laughs> and, because, uh, I mean... Josh Hutcherson, PETA, is what got me to read The Hunger Games. So, question five is, favorite moment that happens in The Hunger Games? Oh, that's a hard one. Besides, like, almost every moment in Catching Fire. Um, this might sound kind of weird, but I really liked in three. I really liked in three, um, when Finnick and Katniss kind of had like this spawning moment where they were um, braiding this net together and Finnick was teaching her more about knots. And I don't know, it was just unexpected and it was nice to have her interacting with a guy that she wasn't trying to be forced into a love triangle with. And it was just more of this like almost brother-sister camaraderie. And, and I mean, they were both kind of having to deal with the same thing and it was just I don't know, it was refreshing to have her not interact with someone that uh, she just in the end had to end up with, you know. That was, that was kind of nice. I liked that. Question six is, favorite villain? I hate these questions. I don't like the villains. You're not supposed to like the villains. Um... Tracker Jackers, can I hate them the most? Because I kind of hate them the most. Um, because <laughs> of what they did. Their Venom did. Anyway, um, I don't know, the Capitol as a whole, I think, did an excellent job at just being bad and mean and ruining everything. Question seven is, who's your favorite character? I think that's pretty obvious. Um, and not just because Josh Hutcherson plays him. The character, PETA, I love. Um, I just, I love how at first you don't know because you're going through Katniss's perspective. So you're very confused and you think he's trying to kill you and blah, blah, blah. And then he's in love with you. And I just, I like how at first you really don't have a handle on PETA, but then as soon as you do, understand PETA, you understand PETA to a T. And I mean, he is just unbelievably loyal and just, and I, I do love how throughout the entire series, how his character changes, how it doesn't change, that's important, and um, everything he has to go through. And big spoiler here, in three, when he gets all jacked up on Tracker Jacker Venom and the capital messes with him so bad. Um, what I really like is how Peter handled it. Because he handled it. I mean, yeah, it took some time, but he got a handle on it. And I honestly do believe, I hate Gale, but I honestly do believe that if Gale had been in that situation, he would have killed Katniss. He wouldn't have been able to control that because Gail has no freaking self-control and just... Oh, can Gail be my favorite villain? I really hate him. Oh my gosh. Really, really hate Gail. <laughs> so question eight, I like this question, is what district would you live in? Well, I took a test uh, around the time the movie came out. It was before, because it was before I went to New York last time. And I found out that I, well, the test said that I would be in District 11, which is agriculture. And that's when I made this. This necklace that I also wore to the Hunger Games Midnight Premiere. And it put my friend Val in District 7, which is lumber. And I made her a uh, necklace, like lumbery tree necklace. Um, but, if you look at a Pan Am map, and 
and a United States map, I would actually, as I live in Wyoming, would actually be in District 5, which is coal, mining, stuff like that. So, no, power. Just power. So, the jury's out on that. I don't know. I kind of claim District 11 because I have for a long time, but I just did some little research and it turns out I would actually be in District 5. Well, question 9 is, what's, what was the most emotional moment in the books for you? Mmm, that's a hard one. I think the one that was like the biggest that was like, wow, was when, spoiler, uh, Katniss and all them found out that they had to go back into the arena in Catching Fire and Katniss has her freak out and like breaks into one of the other houses and just kind of collapses on the floor and spends the night there and you get to read through her whole internal freak out struggle and yeah that was like oh, holy crap so after everything really she has to go through that all over again that's awesome nightmares aren't enough so question 10 is what item from home would you take into the arena with you Ooh, yikes. I honestly, honestly, because, I mean, you can't take weapons. They went over that. I would want to take my flip cam <laughs> because, um, I don't know, it would be cool. I mean, even if you died, and I probably would die, you'd get to record your final, like, days and moments and blah, blah, blah from your perspective and not how the capital cameras capture it you know so it would just be cool and I mean if you could somehow like if you could return that item back to your family when they recovered your body I think that'd be cool just to, so your family could get a more personal look at you instead of just what the capital TV shows question 11 is what was the most evil plan someone made in the books once again it comes down to what happened to PETA like seriously, it wasn't even that they were mad at Peter that they did it to hurt Peter. The only reason that they screwed with Peter's mind so bad with Tracker Jacker Venom and everything was to get at Katniss. It had nothing to do with Peter. And that to me was just the most evil thing is that they would take this completely like innocent person and F them up for the rest of their lives just to screw with someone else. So that, to me, was like, wow, that's, that's evil. And last question is, what are you looking forward to the most in the, in the film? Now, obviously, I think this tag was written before Hunger Games came out in theaters and on DVD. So I would have to say what I'm most looking forward to in the next three movies. Um, ooh, I have to admit, I can't wait to see um, Gail, the wrong Hemsworth, uh, whipped within an inch of his life. Oh, I hope that's just merciless. And I can't wait to see how Josh handles freaking out and almost killing Katniss. That'll be interesting to see how he plays crazy PETA, you know. That'll be interesting. Thank you guys for joining me for my Hunger Games tag. Um, I hope Turquoise Banana 12, you enjoyed it. Um, I should show you guys real quick that in addition to the necklace I made for the midnight premiere, I also made the shirt Val and I made shirts together. It says, both of them say down with the capital. And then the back of mine says, Melark, boy with the bread 12. And hers says, uh, Everdeen, Girl on Fire, 12. So, yeah, yeah. May the odds be ever in your favor.